Oh, it's so good to see you again, sweetie. Is that so? Well, that's okay. Daddy can come around next time. And you're here, right? Oh, I would love to. But I've been so busy with the company these days. We're actually working on a little something. Would you like to see? It is. I was designing a new line of them, but I feel like something's missing. You don't think you could help me out, could you? So, what do you think? That's a great idea! I'll get to changing it right away. You're always like my little lucky charm, dear. You always know what to add to make the perfect toy. You want to make toys as well? Don't worry too much about it. You have plenty of time to decide. Besides, you should do what makes you happy as well. Your father. I'm sure he just wants the best for you. Sweetie, look at me. As much as your father may say something that doesn't make sense now, you must remember that he's always thinking about you. He loves you. There's no doubt about that. And you need to love him just as equally. Your father and I have had some difficulties with each other in the past. But it's nothing that you should be concerned about. However, no matter what, you have to stay strong. You're a big girl already, and, well, there'll come a day when it seems like it's you against the world. But always remember that your family and friends will be here with you. Daddy, Mommy, your friends at school, me, we'll stand together to get through it. Because we'll be right. Here, and here. So stay strong, promise? Alright then, enough of that. How about I whip up some special homemade dessert? I know I can't accompany you at that new cafe, but we sure can talk and eat while I cook and do some paperwork. Hey, slow 
slow down there. I'm not what I used to be. <laughs> Well, it's time to head back home. I'll cook up your favorite lasagna when we get home, okay? It's about time we took off those dreary black clothes. Go ahead. I thought I made that rather clear. The college near your grandfather's house is well known for its business program. You are planning to major in business, yes? Right after you graduate from high school, you'll just live there and can easily commute to and from school. It's a perfect fit for you. Uh, don't be so sensitive. If you're like that in the real world, you'll be crushed. After you graduate from college, you'll work at Anderson Family Toys. I have connections since I am part of the board of directors, so you will be guaranteed a spot. That is what we talked about before, yes? Stop mumbling. Don't be silly. It's the family company. Our company. I'm not just going to hand it over to some incompetent vice chairman. Look, this is all for the best, okay? You may not know it right now, but you will appreciate it later. Of course I do. Excuse me? I don't like your tone, young lady. Do not raise your voice at me! <laughs> you sure place him upon a pedestal, like he's some kind of venerated god or something. It makes me sick. You don't know anything! Running your mouth like somehow you know everything that went on when you're just a little girl that doesn't know how to keep her mouth shut! You did not know my father! You did not know what he was capable of! Is everything all right? What happened? Honey, wait!
Are you all right? Your father told me nothing happened, but you know your father. The lasagna's done, though, and I don't want you skipping any meals. Are you sure? You're not telling me the whole story. Please, dear, tell me what's going on. I wish you would tell me why you're being like this. Well, I'll leave your food on the table if you want to eat it later. Anderson, you there? Is everything all right? We were worried about you, so we decided to call. Hello? What happened? Are you okay? I can't begin to imagine how you must be feeling right now. I'm so sorry. Do you want us to come over right now? Of course! We'd stay on the phone until the crack of dawn, right, Suzu? Yeah. We're always here if you need us. After all, we wouldn't be the awesome triple threat trio without you, right? Triple Threat Trio? That sounds like the name of a gang. Yeah, I mean, we're all taking on the world together. We've got to sound somewhat scary, or else no one's going to take us seriously. What's with you in naming things? You've got to step up your game, Naomi. Falling behind to the cool kids like Anderson and me. Tsk, tsk. Hey! I'm a cool kid! If anything, I'd say you have to step up your game!
Wait, so you have the whole Anderson house to yourself? Lucky as hell, man! <clears throat> Quit being so sensitive, Naomi. Quit being so vulgar, Suzu! Oh, man, come on! See? She knows about proper public taste. I know how to be a lady. Sheesh. Seriously? It hasn't even been a day since you came back to school. Still, that's really fast. Are you going to be okay? Don't go around shoving people like that. Whoops. Did I strike a nerve, Capini? It's not me you should be apologizing to. Oh, Anderson. Hey, how's it going? Uh... Haven't you already heard, Lizette? Of what? Her grandfather's passing. Ah, uh, well, I'm sorry about that. I don't really watch a lot of news. It doesn't really sound like you mean it. I do mean it. Earnestly. Why wouldn't I? Typical Capini. Isn't her family involved with the Mafia or something? I wouldn't be surprised if she brought out the bat from behind her back right this moment. Out of line! Suzu comes from an honest family! Says the one whose family profits from political scandals. Yeah, your dad doesn't make anything unless he's in the court with dirty politicians. Ah! Hey, let's all calm down for a second, alright? I'm sure Anderson needs some time to recuperate. I mean, what just happened? We need to give her some respect. Hmm? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I know your grandfather passing away must have really taken a toll on your emotions. Well, I'll be going for now. Track meat responsibilities and all of that stuff. See you later. Is everything all right, girls? 
Nothing we couldn't handle, Mrs. P. Just a bunch of snobs. Suzu, hush! It was nothing, Mrs. Phillips. I see. Well, Miss Anderson, please accept my condolences for your loss. Your grandfather was a good man. He really upheld the philanthropy of his company's policies, and the money that went towards charity, too. Well, I know that you'll be as great as your grandfather. Hell yeah, she will! She'll be ten times better than her grandfather. Want us to come with you? Hey, honey. About what happened yesterday. I'm sorry for yelling at you. Does your... I mean it. I shouldn't have laid a finger on you. You know that you're my most precious daughter. You're all that I have. I...